welcome back to Lavender Town BGC. I am your host with the Ghost Rye. Welcome back to our Pokemon Ultra Sun and Moon Ghost Only playthrough. Um, I've just scanned a bunch of bullshit QR codes, so we're ready to try and get ourselves a little scary ghost candle. So let's get this island scanned going. Alright, what do I do here? You just hold it down. Okay. Yes. Yes. Give me my ghosts. Alright. So, it should be like one of the first encounters we get. Let's just make sure our Pokemon are like ready to catch stuff. That should be fine. Here, I'm hearing some weird. Hold on. Before we do any of this. I want to make sure all my audio and everything still working. Game audio looks good. Cool. Sorry. I get these little beeps sometimes in my headset, and it scares the shit out of me, so I should make sure we're all working. We're good. We're Gucci. Sorry, I don't want to add any more unnecessary tension and build up to this than we have to. Alright, so movie should be good, because we can just put this in right to sleep. Alright. Let's uh let's do this thing. See if we can get another ghost. We got, we got, we got, we got, we got, we got. God damn it, Murkrow, get out of here! I got things I gotta do. All right, run away from you real quick. I can't. I like. I don't think I ever caught this thing when I played Moon. So, since we're not going to be able to get Miss Drevis, which sucks, at least we'll be able to get one more ghost on the squad. There he is! Wild Litwick! Let's go! I'm hyped. I am hyped! Alright, level 9. Cool. So, we're just going to go for a nice, nice little hypnosis. Just shh. Go to sleep, little candle. It's all fine. Everything's good. Alright, sweet. I mean, let's just, like, let's just try and get super lucky. Let's just try and get a little lucky right now. Let's use our, oh, oh, shit, 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 shit. Let's, uh, let's just throw a great ball. Great ball, he's asleep, he's level 9, this might just work out. Come on, baby. We got one. We got two. We got three. Yes! Let's fucking go. One more ghost in the squad. We're like almost legit here. We're almost ready to fucking rock and roll with this team. Wolfie hits level 12. Feeling great. Feeling good. Feeling confident. All right. Cool, cool, cool. So that's looking good. Um, what should we name this guy? Wolfie wants to learn curse. Yeah, we'll get rid of something. Let's get rid of a... Let's get rid of spite. I don't see that being like super useful really. And curse is like sketchy. That might be fun later on. Don't care about this Murkrow. We're getting rid of it anyway. Blah, 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 blah. Or this Zubat. <laughs> My god, that dumb thing. Alright, awesome. What should we name this thing? Um, Hold on. I'm going to do a very quick Google search. What was the name of the candlestick guy in uh, Beauty and the Beast? Let's look it up real quick. No, this is super unprofessional, but you know it's all right. How's that thing's name? Uh, Lumiere. That's a pretty cool name. I'm okay with that. We can do that. Let me get a stylus here. All right. That will be your fancy, fancy name. And uh, yeah, there's a little. Little accent on the E. Lumiere it is. Welcome to the party, baby! Let's go! I'm so excited that we have at least one more ghost. I mean, we're going to be getting that, um... What's it called? Oricorio soon, too. So that'd be cool. I mean, he's gonna Oricorio's going to have to wait a little bit to turn into a ghost, but it's going to happen. Alright, so let's... You know what, let's go to the Pokemon Center real quick. I want to just, like, rearrange our boxes a little bit. Get rid of everybody. I, sh I had to get... To <laughs> I really just wanted to get right up to that cemetery as fast as possible. 
Oh yeah, and uh, real quick, let's change our change our layout. Cause bam, got ourselves a Litwick. Sweet. Um, fire fire ghost is like crazy good offense, so that's definitely gonna come in handy later on. All right, cool, cool, cool. And let's uh, get rid of one of these guys. All right. Honestly, thank you so much for all the help, Slowpoke. But I think we're at a point now. I don't want that stupid thing. We're at a point now we can uh, start just keeping the Ghost Squad in here. All right, there we go. Let's check the check the natures maybe too. Quiet on the Lumiere is actually awesome because that will lower our speed and increase our special attack. Um, but you can run trick him on this thing, so maybe that's the play there. He's got Endure, Ember, Fire Spin, and Smog. I like all of those moves. Um, and Modest on Wolfie. Hell yeah. Okay, so we got like a really nice like hardcore special attack crew. I'm liking that a lot. Alright. So, let's rest these guys up. Get everyone nice and healthy before we head up to Route 2. Actually, you know what? Before I head up there, I kind of want to explore the city a little bit more. Um, we lost a good chunk of city stuff when we lost that episode. So let's just like take a peek around. I mean, I want to make sure I'm missing any stickers or items or anything cool. I know this is where uh, our buddy lives that we fought in the last one. Where are the stickers at, though? A little drift, a little drift loon there. What's up? What's up? Okay. I don't know if uh, he's up here actually. He might be. Nope. I don't think so. Oh wait, there's a sticker. Why can't I get? Oh, there we go. See, this is why I'm glad we came back. We gotta collect as many stickers as possible because I love collecting bullshit in these games. <laughs> All right, got nothing to. Just before we forget. Let's move you, uh, just take a peek real quick. I'm just so excited we got this guy. So cool. I want to move him, um, right over here. This will be the first one in our party. Get a little XP when, uh, we get going into a battle, maybe. You know what was weird about, um, that Team Skull battle? By the way, I'm sorry I called him Team Rocket. Maybe that got some of you a little too excited. Um, is, uh, it happened, like, earlier on the map than it used to because in Pokemon Moon it was like down at the docks you fought him what's up Popo? -po? what you doing mm-hmm mm -hmm. all right you offered me no fun information uh, did I get I want to get like a tasty treat over here ooh sticker so many stickers I love it Oh, we gotta go up there. We didn't even like check the grass here. We got like, I, we kind of we rushed. We rushed a little bit. We got up there too quick. I want to like chill in the sea for a bit. Maybe do some battles here. If there's any, if there's any in the grass we could do. And we get to grind this team up. I mean, it's gonna be tough doing just ghosts. So, we want to be like over leveled for the rest of the area, just because we're so limited in like our moves and all that stuff. Okay, cool. You got a uh, nice big masalada. What's going on? What are you guys up to? Huh. I did not know that. Thank you, strange man. They always humble brag about their families while pretending to be complaining. <laughs> Whoa! I'd much rather hang out here by myself and see if I can set a new record for the most malasadas eaten in a single sitting. Wow, office drama. I get that. That's pretty real. Cool. Well, poly world chilling. I love the new hairstyle in this game. The little flip. It's really, really cool looking. And then what is this place? This is totally new. Alolan Photo Club. Take a photo, it'll last longer. Champ, not gonna let me in. Oh, coming soon. All right. So not ready yet. It's all right. Anything cool back here? Oh, we see a sticker over there on the other side. Go and nab that. Let's see, let's see, let's see. I think this is the police station. So that's not too new. We've had that one before. I wonder how many totem stickers I'm going to end up needing to get, like, the big guys. 
because I wouldn't like mind like a huge salazzle <laughs> that I saw in the trailer. That was pretty cool. Alright. Do the police have any way to help me here? Can you guys give me anything cool? I'm just sitting in this office at your computer. Ugh. I don't know how things are in other regions, but it's pretty peaceful here to Lola. If you do anything too bad after all, you bring the wrath of the Guardians down upon you. That's an interesting police tactic here. It's like, I could be doing police work and all that, but like, there's, you know, there's an electric bird monster in the sky that'll do, fuck you up if you do anything wrong. I'm relying on him to do most of the work here. Oh my god, look at that water effect down there. Did they make the water way nicer? I feel like it looked like shit now in comparison in the old game. Yeah, I, lady, you don't have a rare candy for me? You're talking about candy? That's just a weird thing to say to someone without any candy. Sticker. Must get my stickers. What are you two arguing about? Attack power is key to anything. If you use an attack in battle, you can defeat a very tough opponent. Here, I'll give you one for yourself. Alright, cool. We, um... We have mostly special attackers, so it might not come in handy anytime soon, but good to have. Good to have. What about you? What do you get for me? Oh, okay. I see what this argument was all about. We have an X defense, which we can probably totally use because, uh, ghost Pokemon in general, a little frail, can't really take a ton of hits. So that might come in handy, maybe like in a totem fight or something. Ooh, what's that? Sticker. Oh my god. I hate that they put this in the game because it's going to get me, like, really hunting around like a nutcase. Then what is in here? Ooh, fancy. This is like a. What do you got? What do you got for me? Have a look at my wares, but just a look. They aren't for sale. Then why? Why would you do that to me? That is just. It's rude. I like all the tourists. Just like coming in, all excited, going on a little vacation. Alright, so we can't be taking any boat cruises right now, unfortunately. Alright, I want to go down there and get that Pokeball and that sticker. Alright, what is this first off? First off! Ah, oh, Super Potion! Tight! We're gonna definitely gonna find a way to use that. <coughs> and we got our sticker. Alright, cool. So let's head back up. Um, there's like a bunch of patches of grass up here I kind of skipped by. Like that one! How do I get in there? Boom. Perfect. There's this little gate here. And, I mean, I don't think there's any ghost Pokemon in the city that I know of. There might be. I mean, we can, you know, play around for a bit and try and find one. Alright, so, um, I'm sorry, Litten. Oh, you're not, you're not Litten. Fuck. Boom, yeah. The Litwick. Um, I don't want you to die to this thing. So, let's uh, switch into our our big bulky boy. He's getting so chunky. I love it. He's taking hits so much better. This is like, I think this is like very doable in all Ghost playthrough. I was a little nervous at first because like it's just such a weird type to do this kind of a let's play with. But I think we're gonna be all right. We'll just razor relief. Again, I'm trying to. I probably should be killing as many of these things as possible just to get everyone to level up. Just a little bit. A little bit. Okay, okay. What is that Pokeball back here? So the yellow ones are usually TMs. Echoed voice. Alright, that's uh, like a normal move. Not really super great for our team. That's fine, though. We take them. We take them. Might come in handy later. Another Wingull. Yeah, we gotta get this Litwick leveled up because once he um or once she gets like to a decent level we're gonna be able to um really really hit hard with some fire moves and i feel like a big old flamethrower coming out of that thing is gonna be top notch so yeah i mean so far i'm like really loving this game it's not like too crazy different from you know, regular Sun and Moon. Um, but, like, just so, like small things, like, they've really just made the aesthetic just, like, a little bit nicer. I mean, again, we're pretty early in the game, so we haven't seen, like, all the crazy new stuff. There's a bunch of new cool mini games coming out. Um, they made shiny uh, hunting really easy now uh, through the Ultra Wormholes, so we'll definitely do some shiny hunting at some point. 
uh, maybe on Twitch, but um, we'll see. We'll see. All right, let's go down this way. I don't know if we missed anything down here. Okay. Really, I'm on like a big sticker hunt though. Gotta get them stickers. I mean, like, if if Pokemon wasn't addictive enough, because the whole game's about collecting awesome creatures, they added another collecting mini game into it, basically. Uh, so many Wingulls. I want to use my new thing. It's all right though. It's all right. Everything's cool. I kind of want. I want to evolve our little bird guy here. I want my Hedwig to get fancy bangs and be more like moody, broody looking. Mm -hmm. All right, we'll just keep plowing through here. I know watching someone grind isn't like super fun for a let's play, but it's gonna be kind of necessary for this team. I'm getting texts. I'm gonna turn this on silent. Again, not a very professional let's play. I am sorry. I put that over here. All right. Do a little tackle. Oh, quick Claw coming in clutch. I mean, Quick Claw's going to be good on him, I think. I would like it to have worked more. <laughs> but, I mean, it's not like we have a ton of cool battle items yet. All right, Litwick. Confuse Ray? Hell to the yes. I mean, that's kind of like the main thing you really want to do. Um, all right, 30. That's probably better. All right, so we'll get rid of Smog for Confuse Ray. So you're saying that's like the main thing I love about Ghosts is like their move pool is all about like really disrupting your opponent, and they get like really fun, weird moves. So this should be fun for like a single player let's play. Um, let's see, let's see, let's see. Let me go out this way. Cool. All right, I don't think there was too much else. I just really just wanted to hit that row. Um, I think this is just the uh, yeah the visitor center was in here. We checked out the house. Um, we got our haircut. We got our clothes. Ooh, ooh, ooh! Sneaky, sneaky! Can't hide a sticker from me. Come on now, I'm a sticker hunt. Gotta get them all. That's what I'm trying to catch all of <laughs> the stickers. Now this is the mall, right? Did they change where the mall was? Shopping mall is close for renovation. Ugh. I mean, maybe it unlocks at the end of the game. Maybe. And I think we should go in here. Because I did see a sticker. And I think there's a item back here, too. And I might as well uh, fight a couple more Pokemon. Mr. Mime Jr., what the hell are you doing here, bro? Uh, that's new. Not seen this guy before. All right. Let's catch him. Let's catch him. It's, it's Pokemon. Let's catch them all. Let's do it. All right, so let's go for an Ember. See how much this does. He goes for Confusion. Uh, which we take pretty well. And we get the Confuse. Ugh, why? Why? Alright. Ember goes off. Excellent. It's pretty good damage. I think we'll just do one more. And then we should be ready for a Pokeball. The first time someone tries to do a normal move on my ghosts. Excellent. That's what I want to see this whole playthrough. <laughs> Alright, cool. Perfect. Let's try and catch this little guy. I don't really know if Mr. Mime's all that great competitively. I've never used one, I couldn't tell you. But, uh, he's cool again. I like him a bunch. Also, I kind of want to check the scratch to see what other Pokemon they added to this area. <sighs> Bro, what are you doing, dude? Ridiculous. Alright. I think we'll just, yeah. Throw another one. Get in this ball! Let's go. Got no time for you. I can't even use you. I'm catching you as a courtesy. All right, cool. <laughs> so we caught our Mime Junior. Let's see what our Pokedex has to say. And I think this will probably be the last episode I record for today. I think I've done like five or six today. I just wanted to get a nice jump start on the week so that we can like put out daily content. Because uh, that's going to be the plan. Um, Monday through Friday, daily episodes. See if we can do as many as possible. And I really do want to get through this game pretty quickly. When this gifted mimic surprises an opponent, Mime Jr. feels so happy that it ends up forgetting it was imitating something. 
Well, you know, you tried, buddy. That's what's important. We will not give him a nickname. No. Nope. Okay, okay. Let's see what's back here. Okay, so there was no sticker. It was just a Pokeball. Oh, revive. Sweet. I'd like to stock up on those, because uh, my team, I have a feeling, going to be dying quite a bit. <laughs> All right. I am, like, very, very ready to get a ride Pokemon. Just so... Uh, there's a lot of walking in this game. All right, so let's check in here. Let's fight this guy. This should be our little um, sumo buddy. Oh, it's Ekans. That's different. It was Makuhita in the first one. All right. I might mind catching myself an Ekans. See what this thing's all about. Get the Intimidate. I love that. The new graphic for what the ability is coming out. That looks so nice. See so how you take an Ember, weird snake. I think it's fast, huh? I was create an ivory effect to me. We get poisoned. Why? Decent damage. <laughs> Alright. Try another one here. Don't leer at me, snake. Snake. Mm. Alright. That should be good. Let's just try throwing a Pokeball out. Originally when I was going to do this, I wanted to do ghosts and poison types, but that's just weird. I figured to just, just keep it to ghosts. I just, I love poison types. Probably my second favorite type in the game. Boom! Caught it! Another one for the books. Rack it up! Okay, okay. Oh, that's some good experience. I like that. And we are going to care for this little guy after. Because I mostly just want to see what happens when I touch that flame. <laughs> Alright, another one for the Pokedex. What do we have here for Ekans? Alright, alright. The eggs of bird Pokemon are its favorite food. If swallowed eggs whole, so sometimes an egg gets stuck and Ekans faints. Ah, dude, like, chew. Um, I know I've talked about the Pokemon movie quite a bit in the last couple episodes, but I just saw it a couple days ago and it's really fresh in my mind. There's this one scene... I'm going to ruin too much, where an Arbok flies out of some smoke and wraps around Charizard's neck, and it is horrifying. It's awesome. It's probably my favorite scene in the whole movie. All right, let's take care of our little guy here. He's looking, he's looking a little stoned, to be honest with you. So let's, uh, let's sober him up. I like to give him a little coffee. There you go, bud. There you go. Almost done. All right, look good, look good. Give a little rub. Oh, wow. look at that, the flame doesn't burn because it's a ghost. I'll take that. Okay, give you a little, little red bean. Munch on that for a minute, buddy. Sweet, all right, looking good. So let's uh, let's get back on the road, back into the uh, Route 2, and we'll hunt down, I think that we get, should be some pretty cool stuff on this route, actually. Oh, what'd he drop? What a poison barb. Ooh. What's poison barb do? I think it just boosts poison moves. But uh, let's check. Small poison boosts poison. Okay, cool. So I think we're going to give that to um, our, uh, our little guy Wolfie here. He should be getting some poison moves soonish. So that'll help him out. While we're on the screen here, let's, uh, let's get a potion going on our little candle guy. And I think we're going to give him, like, just, like, a berry to hold. Do we have any berries? Where do my berries go? Oh, yeah. There we go. I'm going to hold a berry. In any case. For safety. For safety. All right. Let's get going right back up this route here. So we took care of everything in the cemetery. And uh, let's fight a little youngsta. Preschooler Pistons. Full power. It's a weird thing for a small child to say. Not here to judge. So... We got uh, Preschooler Dylan. Dylan, 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 Dylan. Ooh, a fellow ghost. How are you, Drifaloon? I'll be catching you soon, too. Don't you worry. Don't you worry. All right. So, hmm. I think we're probably going to be faster. Maybe. I don't know. Let's go for a fire spin. I want to see the animation for that. We are not affected by your ridiculous constricts. Oh, yeah. Awesome. 
I am liking our powerful candle. Yeah, <laughs> it's so it's probably my favorite animation in the game. It's so funny. Hit him with the number. Boom. That thing got roasted. I'm already really liking having fire stab on the team. We're very very close to. Uh, there's like a whole arrow uh, area with like spiros and all this crazy stuff. But I think what's gonna we get a the trial coming up soon. Oh my god, sticker! Stop what we're all doing and and sticker. You get oh, we get ten stickers. I don't know a lot about this game, but I feel like ten stickers is pretty. I cannot get up these stairs. Uh -huh. Uh -huh, there it is. Sorry, it's just it's kind of weird playing because I have it like on my desk kind of. So I'm used to holding it. I don't know, a little different. It's good for kids to experience their own journeys, but running away without even a word to your parents is another thing entirely. I tried to set that boy in mind straight, but when I did, I was the one who got beat. Ugh. You hitting your kid? It's like a weird child abuse subplot. What's going on back here? Let's try. And, let's check this kid's room out. Okay, some trophies. Then I have dust on the trophies. All right, they haven't been looked at in a while. What's over here? Nothing. Nothing. The coolness of myself, of my Pokemon. It's almost a magic spell. Nothing can capture the absolute beauty we have achieved, except the sharp, vivid photos of the Alola Photo Club. You want to wow the world? Come to the Lola Photo Club. Weird product placement. The Lola Photo Club. All right, let's get out of here. That was odd. I didn't like that dude at all. I got a weird vibe. Weird vibe from that guy. What is this thing? A brawler? Crab nab. Right by the sea. That's right. Welcome to the wonderful seaside motel. My brawler sure is something, ain't he? He nabs passerbys to bring them to me, so I can send them down by the bay. Though he's actually been a little too good at his job, so I've got no vacant rooms to offer you. But it doesn't mean you've come for nothing. Here, follow me this way. Let's follow this, this little retiree. See what he's doing over here. Oh, uh, this is new? What the hell? What's going on down here? See that? Look at that brand expansive beach. Its name is Big Wave Beach. Some interesting Pokemon to be found down at the beach, so I guess I'm having a look. And just so you know, the path of the beach was made by none other than yours truly. That's right, just me and my Cabrawler. Oh, dude. Bro, surfer, let's do this, man. What's going on? <laughs> Alola, trial goer. Have you seen a surfer before? <laughs> yeah, dude. They're not that rare or anything. <laughs> this is an island. <laughs> what is this character model? <laughs> You're challenged by surfer Carlton. <laughs> All right. What do you have, dude? Delibird? Okay. So you're ice flying, so you're not going to want to take a fire move. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. Get him. Hit him with that fire spin. He can't do anything to me. His only move is present, and that's a normal move. So I think we're very safe here. Residual damage here. Cool, cool. Alright. Actually, I really like that character model. He's just like, chilling on his board, hanging out. Alright, so... What are we going to do? Um, let's just hit him with a number. Nice, safe ember. Already I'm seeing the advantage of having an all-ghost team. Just because we're... These normal moves are just flying right through us. We're doing very good. Level 12. Alright, team is getting... Team's getting up there. Rounding it all out. Alright. Perfect. Mime Junior, I keep forgetting to take these Pokemons out. Pokemon. Why can't we take these Pokemon out? Uh, I don't care. Keep your old moves. Alright, Waves, even if I'm not feeling it. That's what surfers do, after all. I like his little... Yeah, that's interesting. <laughs> I mean, it's cool to see, like, just new, uh, new trainer types in the game. What's going on down here? Dude, is this main time surfing? Sweet. I am stoked! Big Wave Beach! Okay, awesome! What's up, what's up? Welcome to our BP shop. Ooh! Okay, so this is where we're gonna be trading in our BP for battle items, I'm assuming. <laughs> yes, I wanna see what you have. Berry juice, full heal, max potion. Alright, so nothing too crazy. Rare candy be cool. 
Um, nope. Dude, what else can we get over here? This is like pretty early in the game. Okay, so here's the move tutor. All right. Let's take like a quick look through these. Because some a lot of Pokemon are getting really cool move tutor moves in this one. Helping hand is going to be awesome on certain ones. Last resort, worry seed. Okay. <coughs> hey, little cousin. Welcome to Big Wave Beach. Come to, You've come to exactly the right place if you're looking for some Mantine Surf. Yes. I cannot wait. Mantine Surf is just what it says in the box. You climb on the back of your Mantine and then you surf. Surfing is the best sport we can enjoy traveling across the ocean waves. The youngsters like yourself who want to get into Mantine Surfing have to toughen up and show that they can really handle it first. Surfing is a bit of a dangerous sport, to be fair. Come back when you're as tough as a real kahuna, okay? Me and Mantine will be holding our breath in anticipation until you do it. What? No, why? I want to go on it now. I don't want to... Why? why? I want to go on it right now. Wait, do Mantine breathe? Can they even hold their breath? Stupid! What? <laughs> when can I go on this cool thing? No. No, I want to go on you. <laughs> I just want to surf. I probably have to beat the trial before I can do this. Which is malarkey. Alright. Guys. Guys. Has everyone been surfing? I want to surf too. Alright. What's up, little buddy? Yeah, I've been doing quite a bit of walking. Alright, so uh, let's, let's assume. I'm probably not going to be able to Mantine surf. Ooh. Here we go. Team Skull back at it again. What are you assholes up to? <laughs> I'll never get over these two. They're so funny. <laughs> Sup with that? We look like kids to you or something? I hate, I hate their voices and that I'm imagining in my head. The real reason is... Every time you try, you keep all those ridiculous dance moves, even on Mantine's back. And then you end up in the water. You want to stop dancing? That's our identity, yo. It's all we've got. Man, forget her, B. I love that they're using B. It just, it's so funny. If they could sneak in one dead ass, I'd be in hysterics. I would never play anything else. But Team Skull, dead ass? No one could stop us from acting hard-headed. <laughs> what are you guys doing? Don't, please. Yeah, I, I will. Don't worry. I don't want these assholes fucking with this Mantine. What is your, even your plan here? To just like... Uh, I don't even know. Alright. So on the next episode, we're going to break up this bullshit. We're going to stop these little punks from messing with Mantine who's just peacefully enjoying a laze in the water. So thank you guys for checking this episode out. Um, make sure you come back next episode. we got things to do. we got thugs to ass assault and stop. Um... This is Lavender Town VGC. Thank you so much for watching. I will check you guys next time.